What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to Dave's Watch channel. For this video, I'm gonna be talking about my other latest acquisition, wristwatch check, the Omega Speedmaster. This one I just picked up. Actually, I picked both of these up yesterday. And um, what did I pick up along with the Speedy? And it's the Rolex 5513. It's got a little ding over here, but that's okay. You know, nothing is perfect. I watched this old. You, know, you can't expect you can't expect a, a pristine piece um, not for what I paid at least and uh, this Rolex 5513 well why did I buy it I had the Rolex Submariner ceramic I received that watch in trade and to be honest it just did not it, it was a beautiful watch right don't I don't want to take anything away from the the Rolex Submariner ceramic but but it just was, you know, the case just didn't quite um, fit my wrist too well. You know, it's a beautiful watch, super modern, very uh, eye-catching. Um, but then I came back to this uh, Rolex 5513 and it's, it's a beautiful watch. Now, um, in case any of you are wondering, right, this, is, this has a replacement uh, 80s tritium service dial. So it was the dial that they actually use in the later models of the 5513, right in the 80s. Uh, the, this is a 1971 Rolex 5513, so it should have a matte, uh, a matte dial, you know, with those collectible, uh, you know, collectible uh, serif font, and you know, I don't really go much into that. Uh, why that bite is obviously this is not as collectible, right? Collectors always want an original dial, original insert. Uh, these um, these were replaced by the Rolex Service Center. You know, and that's the thing in Rolex, right? They, you know, once they see damage or when they see fading, they don't see it the same way as uh, collectors. You know, they say, okay, this thing has been damaged. It's time to replace it, give it an update, give it a facelift. And uh, they replace the the dial. They replace the hands. They really they replace the insert with the with the newer one. And at the time, it was the eighties tritium tritium dial hands. And it's got a little you know little off color patina like an eggshell, and and it's really great. So why did I buy this? Well, you know, I really I really loved the the vintage Submariners, but at the same time, you know, I I'm a watch user. I don't, you know, I don't like collecting a watch and just put it in the safe and wear wear it on special occasions, especially when it comes to a watch like the Submariner. You know, this watch is made to be, it's made to be used. I wouldn't go so far as to abuse it, but it should be used. And, um, you know, it, sh it shouldn't be at the back of your mind that, oh no, am I going to get it damaged? You know, am I going to get the dial damaged? Am I going to get the hands damaged? And so for, for my purposes, for my, for my lifestyle and what I do and, and how I wear my watches, I think this is, uh, this is a really good, um, it's a really good fit, right? I can wear it. I would, you know, I would submerge this, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about getting this wet, right? Although I, I don't think I would go swim with it, but you know, I, Let's just say, you know, should something happen with the dial, should there be moisture damage, it wouldn't, it wouldn't rip me to pieces, <laughs> okay? I, w I won't lose sleep. Um, should something happen uh, with, within the dial, within the, the hands, uh, you know, it's okay because it's already been replaced and, you know, it just won't, it won't kill me. <laughs> All right, so the Rolex 5513, right? It's a beautiful watch, you know, this... This is an icon. This is probably the most important watch made by Rolex. People talk about the Daytona. People talk about the GMT. But in my opinion, the Submariner, right, the especially you know the five five one three is is the quintessential uh, Rolex. You know, it's, it's a great watch, right? Seventies model with eighties uh, dial and handset. Beautiful watch, you know. But uh, who's to say? Um, you know, I really like this piece. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Bye.